Welcome back. We're the Daily Torch. Tonight we're drinking 24-1 Booker's. Uh, the Springfield batch, right? Yeah, the Springfield, Springfield. batch. Okay. 124.5 proof. Seven years, seven months. Eight, eight days. Eight days. Yeah. Seven. It's, it's, should it be seven years, seven months, one week, one day? I mean, you would think if they counted it's it that way. It's just bad math. Eight. And on the eighth day. They couldn't, fit, <laughs> they couldn't fit the week in there. That's what it so, is. Booker's has taken a lot of shit lately. Yeah. It's not as good as it used to be. Or, you know, I just don't, it's just fallen off. Okay. I don't know why. I mean, you know, here's the thing with Booker's. It stands up to a cigar. I was drinking it with cigar earlier. It stands up to a cigar really well. Like, remarkably well. Really? As yes. you want, right? Okay. It so does, you don't lose anything from the cigar. You don't lose the richness in the bourbon. It doesn't change the cigar. There's something about it. It's a great cigar bourbon. Hmm. For our purposes, it's fantastic. You, you know get, what I mean? You get that high-proof grain from it. The more you spin it, the more the caramel comes out. You give it a little, like, oh, wine yeah. swirl. Oh. And then you start to get the, the caramel and the vanilla. Oh, that's a delicious, oh, yeah, there it is. delicious dessert caramel. Yeah. Mm. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Now, there's definitely some youth on it. If you just crack it open and smell it, there's definitely some youth on it. Yeah, so, I mean, would you want to oh. throw it in a decanter, maybe? No, I think that's a bit much. Too much? I think it's one of those after you pour, you know, 20% of the bottle, the rest is going to be really good. Because it'll mix with air on its own. Yeah. And again, for our purposes, great cigar bourbon. Yes. Wow. I'm going to score it high in the nose. I like the smell of the nose on it. Oh. And maybe it's because I've been drinking or smoking cigars all night. I really like the flavor of it. That's interesting. Now, I think a lot of the notes that people don't like would come out in a head-to-head -head tasting, mm. but we're not doing that. Not yet. Right? I, I quite like this, Booker's. So this is just one of their batches. It's yes, not like they do the, four a year. It, it's not like the, the book or whatever it is. Chapter. Little Book. Little book. That's little different. Book, yeah. So Little Book is also lower proof than this by quite a bit. Oh. Is it like 100 proof or... I think it's 10, I think it's like between 107 and 114. Somewhere. Okay. I think it varies because Little Book is a blend of a bunch of different barrels. Oh, so it, it's got the variable. And then they do some silly shit. Like there was one Little Book with like rice whiskey in it. They do some silly stuff. Some one with like light whiskey, which is corn whiskey. Um, seven. I like seven a lot. Chapter seven? Yeah. So once we score this, we're going to taste it against 22-3, which is the Kentucky tea batch but that was given to us by Mr. Sergeant. Yes. By the Sarge. Uh, do you guys have a... How's the finish on it for you? There's, there's a, a weird note on there for me, and I don't know what it is. A weird, like... Like, after, after you, like, sit for a minute, there's, like, a weird... Uh, it, there's a little bit of bitterness in the finish. Yeah, yeah I, was about to say, I think that's it what bitter? it is. Is that what you're, you're picking up? Yeah, I think it's the bitterness. I like it. The bitterness is just slightly off. -putting. I'm probably going to deduct a point or two for that. Yeah. Generally, I like the finish, but it does get a little bit bitter for me on the back of the tongue as it sits. I mean, I it, does, it, on the it does kind of just stay there, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a little bitter bite. You don't get too I much of that carameliness on the palate, though. I like the palate, though. I, I like the palate. I get just enough. I don't like bourbons that are too much caramel, too much unstructured caramel. Okay. Um, they, are a they taste a little overly sweet to me. This has enough structure to balance it out. Yeah, For I'm me, getting, it does. I'm getting a lot of spices in there. Yeah. That's, yeah, I don't, like, the caramel is in the nose. But on the palate, I get... Almost big, none. big spice, yeah. which is nice. I like I like the big spice. The big spice with like an undertone of caramel, not too much. It's not really noticeable. All right, you want my score before I go on to the twenty-two? It's because this is, a twenty-two might be too new for the you know it was better before thing, but so I scored it an eighty-one. Twenty-four 81. on the nose, twenty-six on the palate. I like the palate a little bit more than I like the nose. 
And the nose is kind of torn, right? Because it's a little young until you swirl it up. And then it gets a lot better when you swirl it up. So I, I took a couple points off. Okay. Um, 15 on the finish for that slight bitter note. And 16 general impression out of 20. Okay. Casey, you still working on yours? Uh, I'll go to mine then. All right. All right. So for the nose, I gave it a 24. Okay. I like the nose. The palette, also a 24. Finish, I gave it a 15 as well. Just because that bitter note. Uh, impression... 17 for a total of 80. Okay, 80, 81. Casey, where are you at? I am at 80. Oh, genius. Oh, so it's going to be a, you know, 83, <laughs> 80.33 or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I did 27 on the nose, 25 on the palette, uh, 16 for the finish, and 17 for my impression of it. Um, so I'm smelling the 22 3. Okay. And there's a lot more creme brulee. On the 22-3. So is that more cream added to the caramel, essentially? Yeah. Let's take a look here. It's like a sweet cream plus caramel. Yeah, we came out to an 80 I actually, if I had to judge the nose, the noses, I will take the 22-3 every time. Off the nose, yeah. Yeah. Every time. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying there? Oh, yeah. Now, do you think it's because we? It, it's been drank down enough that a lot of that has been aired out. It could be. I mean, that bottle's almost empty. Yeah. So it's entirely likely. I don't know. Hmm. But the nose, I think, is is better, is substantially better. Like, this nose, for me, would be like a 17 or 18. Yeah, you're right. There is, there is a more cooked caramel. It's not just the caramel. It's a sweet cream. But, yeah, with the cream. It's and that, it comes through on the palate. It still has... Spice on it, yeah, not but as it's much di- as the other one. Different, yeah, it's a different spice, oh, and it's yeah. a different sweetness. Yeah, and the finish is fantastic. Yeah, yeah this it would is. be this oh. would comfortably be like an eighty-five, eighty-six for me. It's going to score a couple points higher across the board. Oh yeah, so maybe right. it is getting a little worse over time, but this is good. That that is actually really good, right? <laughs> That's really good. Like those sweet cream notes really do a lot for it. Well, I just like that they're they're not just in the nose; they're also on the palate. Yeah, yeah. Whereas with the other one, there you lose some of the nose instantaneously on the palate, and it hangs on. All right. That finish is like you just had some sort of like caramel, like a caramel cake with like a white icing, like a cream cheese icing. Yeah, there's no bitterness. Yeah, which is that's exciting. All right, let's see what it does. And maybe the bitterness fades over time. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh God. Uh oh. God, son of a. I'm that guy. I have to be that guy, I guess. One of us has to be. I guess not, but... His standards are remarkably lower than I his. don't want to mix 22-3. <laughs> uh, just... It actually uh, cuts off the... Almost that alcohol smell. That... that the, 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 the high youth, alcohol. Yeah. I just don't want to blend out that sort of icing sweet cream note. I really enjoy that. I, I left a little bit in there. <laughs> Well, it it kind of mellows it out. The spices it? get cut down a bit. Okay. okay. Does he get still that bitterness on the end? A little bit, but it's in the back, and you don't notice it as much. Well, no, it's not bad oh. for the two mixed together. I mean, it's I mean made by the same. It's company, better than so a lot of the be. reactions that we've gotten from you on the blend. You know, yeah. you're not wrong. That's that's very true. I've made some faces. <laughs> um, I mean, I still think. 24 one is a buy. I, st- I still like, I'm not going to hunt it down, but if I see a Booker's for a hundred dollars, I'm probably going to pick it up for sure. I, yeah, I would, I would pick this up. This is worth it. Yeah. The other one, I mean, I'm just, I'm curious if it just needs oxygen or if there's just some, but if you saw it, knowing that you're only going to see it for a couple of days, like if you walk away from it, it's going to be gone. Right. It's that you can't find it every time that I'm picking it up. Right for if you and it's at SRP, which most of the time around here it is. It's a hundred and five dollars or whatever. That's perfect. I think to, for me it's still a buy. I, I think it's still a buy. Yeah. I, I think it still holds up. It, it, unless they really fall off, it's still a buy. I mean, there's so much stuff out there for more than a hundred dollars. It's just absolute trash. Yeah, we reviewed two of them. Yeah, yeah. I I was here. I yeah. don't envy it. 
<laughs> Fair. All right, are we done? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, that was Booker's 24-1 and 22-3. I think they're both really good. Um, I would buy both of them. Uh, this was the Daily Torts. We were drinking Booker's, and we'll see you next time.